Hello, Drew. Uh, congratulations on being selected. Uh, what were your thoughts on getting the call from the Atlanta Falcons today? Oh, thank you very much. And uh, I mean, couldn't be more excited. Couldn't be more happy. Just, just so, so happy to get to work there. It's an awesome organization. Something that I uh, have a little history with myself, and and can't wait to get down there. Um. You all have, uh, you know, could you describe for, you know, what it was like last season, out west, start and stop and go, and then you finally got on the field a little bit, or, um, you know, just what was it like trying to play through the pandemic out west? Yeah, I mean, it was it was really just a game of who was ready at that point, and uh, I think we did a good job. We had a bunch of guys that, that were just chomping at the bit to play, and it was all we wanted to do, so. Whenever we got the green light, whenever that was, we were we were ready to hit the ground running. So that was uh, that was kind of the name of the game for us. Jeff, yeah, Drew, I saw you play. Actually, started a couple of games at guard as a sophomore, and then moved to center. So obviously, there's some versatility there. Have they have the Falcons spoken to you at all about um, about either you know coming in as a projected center or or guard? Yeah. Uh, Nothing really. Um, I, I'm really just going to walk in and, and kind of whatever whatever the coaches have for me, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to throw myself wholeheartedly into it. So um, I'll be ready for anything and, and kind of just take their word for it. And and you might know that Arthur Smith, uh, their head coach, has an offensive lineman background. Has, has Have they talked to you at all about scheme fit or, you know, what in particular they liked about you? Uh, yeah, I think a little bit. Um, I mean, I have, a, I have a pretty heavy zone background and, and a lot of that pro style offense at Stanford as well. So I think uh, I think it's a good transition for me and, and I'm really just excited to be a part of it. Michael Rothstein, ESPN. Hey, Drew, congratulations. I'm actually curious, do you remember anything about your time in Georgia when you were like, what, three, four? <laughs> yeah, it was like... Um, I want to say it was like first through third grade, something like that. So I, I definitely remember running around those fields, probably causing a little mischief. But uh, yeah, I mean, just great memories of being around the facility there and, and being around the team. And at what point for you did you realize that the NFL was a possibility? Obviously, you know, your your grandfather played professional football of some sort. Your dad played for a long time. Like, When do you realize for you that this might happen? Um. I, you know, I, it's tough to say. It's something that has always been a goal, certainly. And then I've always kind of had that in the back of my mind that it was what I wanted to do and, and what I was working to do. But, uh, I mean, up until that phone call, you never really know. So I, I guess probably about five minutes ago. Charles Odom, Associated Press. Your dad uh, was a six-rounder who ended up starting uh, 64 games and. And I know that you've you've read uh, those who have questioned whether you have the size to handle bull rushers. Um, what does your dad's background do for giving you confidence? Yeah, I mean, uh, first and foremost, I've been absolutely spoiled with with an awesome teacher and a coach for most of my life. So that's been absolutely huge, building my confidence, building my uh, my skill set to be able to handle things like that. And and just knowing that uh, there's a guy that's, you know, similar body to me that's done it. And, and I have confidence in myself and, and who I've played against so far. So um, I feel really good about what I'm going to do in the NFL. Did you hear those those questions, those concerns from from scouts or, or anyone who, who interviewed you? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I think it's uh, definitely a natural thing to want to wanna inquire about, but. I really feel good about myself. Um, I feel confident in my abilities, and I think I'm going to do well. Jason Butt. Hey, Drew. Um, you, know, you mentioned being spoiled by, by, by uh, you know, having a, f a former player and coach as your dad. What's maybe the best uh, advice he's given you as you've come along uh, on this uh, journey as an offensive lineman? Yeah, I think um, – Maybe not so much uh, specific advice, but but seeing a guy that has like by example shown me how how being prepared, how working hard, how taking the weight room seriously, practice seriously, all that can can lead to a successful career like that and, and being a great player. So I think just seeing that for me has been huge and um, kind of molding my my mindset towards the game.
Yeah, and I'm growing up, I mean, obviously, you know, when, when it comes to football families, a lot of times, uh, there, I guess there's a certain time uh, you're, you're looking up to him. Was there a moment that you can recall where you wanted to kind of follow in his footsteps, uh, not only playing football, but but on the offensive line? Yeah, I, I don't think I can point to a singular moment. Um, I know from a young age, I was like running around his old football helmets and things like that. So I think I, I probably had that idea pretty young. Kelsey Conway. Hey, Drew. Um, I saw reading up on you that you were a mechanical engineering major at Stanford. Um, why did you want to go into that? And can you tell us a little bit about that part of um, your life? Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, it was just interesting to me. Uh, I, I took a few classes early on and, and really enjoyed it and kind of just went for it. It's uh, I've always taken both seriously with my, my academic, academic, sorry, and uh, football as well. So it's kind of a, a natural choice for me. And do you have any plans for what you plan to do with that major when you're done playing football? Honestly, I think I got uh, plenty on my plate for now. I think I'm going to focus all on all on ball for as long as I can and, and figure that out when I when that time comes. Justin Felder. Hey, man, I, I want to go back real quick. I think it was Michael that asked you about when your dad was an assistant with the Falcons. I, I know you were a lot younger, but those were the Michael Vick teams, right? I mean, do you remember any of that or watching him at all? I know, I know you're a lot younger, but do you have memories of that? Yeah, I I think I just knew that, you know, he was the guy, like he was the big man on campus, but, uh, but that was about it. You know, I was, I was a fan, obviously. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We got time for one more follow-up. Uh, D Orlando Ledbetter. Yeah, Chris, I was, uh, just wondering, um, uh, as did you call the signals up front? I got the picture here. You pointing fo folks out and stuff. I know Alex Mack used to do that for Matt Ryan. Uh, did y'all do that um, at Stanford? Did you do that for Mills and the quarterbacks and so forth? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. I made all the calls at the line. Okay, and what's the intricacies of, you know, you know, doing that and helping take that off the quarterback's plate? Could you talk a little bit about how that operates? Sure, yeah. It was, uh, I mean, in the run game, I'm, I'm declaring the mic, what we called, which is kind of setting the, uh, the point that everybody's starting from on the offense line. And then in pass protection, I was handling the protection. So the quarterback's got one less thing to worry about. He can just focus on the receivers, coverage, everything like that. And then uh, he knew the offensive line was going to handle all the blitzers and everything. All right, guys, that's all the time we got. Drew, thanks so much for the time. And everybody, we will talk to you soon. Definitely. Thank you. Nice to meet all of you.